got a Honda that's howling in the back when you're moving, then today's your lucky day. Because I'm going to show you how to fix a howling Honda. Now this particular Honda is a CRV, but the important thing is that it's four-wheel drive. And that's important for this problem because it means there's also a rear differential because it has rear wheel drive and it's this differential that often makes such a noise. They're very complex differentials and the insides have actual clutch packs and stuff inside and if you don't keep the fluid real clean they'll make all kinds of weird noises when you're driving. It's Lucy to help us out. Well at least she's going to do something. It's even too cold for her today. She's going back in the house. Now, of course, if you get noise in the back of a car, check the brake pads, check all the bushings to make sure they're not worn or cracked, but there's nothing wrong in this car. The differentials are notorious when the fluid gets dirty that they start making these weird noises, and just changing the fluid stops all that noise and stops the wear, too. But you can only use this dual fluid pump, too, from Honda Fluid. Nobody else in the world makes it. It's not all that expensive and it only holds a couple of quarts max, so. And it's an easy job changing it. You just need a 3 8 inch ratchet, a hammer, and a drain pan. The left side here has the drain bolt. You just stick the ratchet in the hole and then give it a good whack with your sledgehammer. Uh, then it came loose. Then you just unscrew the plug and the fluid drips out. Out it comes into the drain pan. Then once it stops dripping, you just screw that back in. Then come up, go to the other side of the differential, cause the drain's on one side, but the fill plug's on the others. As you can see, now we're on the right side, and up here is the fill plug. It's black. We'll just unscrew this plug. And since it's in such an odd position, I've gotten Honda fluid and I poured it in this bottle that has a little pump inside that I use for pumping into differentials. The little pump was only five bucks at an auto zone and I found a bottle that it fit into so I keep that just to pump them in. Then you just get the pump, stick the other end in the hole and you pump it until fluid comes back out the hole and it's full. You can see the fluid starting to drip out so it's full now you put the cap back on. And make sure you get it on nice and tight. You don't want it leaking. So the next time your Honda is howling in the back, now you know how to fix it. Remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I'm done ringing this bell.